Yeah, there's so many colours to choose from. I'm glad they're all colours that you like as well. Yeah, definitely. I like how there's not just all pastels as well, yes. like there's still like a really wide variety. Absolutely. Yeah, the blues are gorgeous. So there's like deeper shades of everything, there's, you know, the pastel -y versions of everything. Yeah. So I can help you as well, like just give you some ideas about colour matching. I like to get quite creative when I colour match. I like putting weird and unexpected combinations. I think that's where you can show your personality and be a bit creative is what you decide to put. And it also can kind of make some illusions on your body by mm. how you use colours in your life. I mean, you're probably not in the line of work where you'd wear a suit, mm. but that could be the suit. Ah, uh, it's like grey suits are better than black suits. Yeah, I feel like the black would be a bit intense on you. Mm. If you have like a really nice light grey suit and then you paired it with one of these nice pastel colours on the inside, uh. that would be nice. Maybe for an interview. <laughs> or a navy suit would yeah. actually be really lovely. I mean, nowadays you can get suits in all the colours. So colour analysis is the act of finding the best colours for your skin tone and your personality. Personality can play a little bit into it too. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you knew that. Yeah, um, no, I didn't know that part. Yeah, so if you think about like colours in your life, like I'm sure like when you're on Instagram, for example, and you're scrolling, like you're drawn to different colours. Like maybe you like all black and whites, maybe you love all the pastel, maybe you love bright, super bright colours. Everyone has like colours that they're drawn to. Um, my colour analysis is finding just the best colours for your skin. So the best colours will make your skin look healthy, will make it look like you're glowing, you look fresh. Um, colours that are wrong for your skin can make you look sick okay. or unwell. Um, it's weird how powerful these are. Gosh. So underneath your face, which we'll be putting them today, you'll see the reflections of the colours. So if the colour's the wrong colour for you, it will be too reflective underneath your chin. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, the colours, like say a black for example, if black isn't your colour, it will like bring out some of the lines underneath your eyes. Some of the black shadows will become more prominent. Okay. So when you have the drapes underneath your face, you're kind of looking for, not just like, you're trying not to look at the drape, you're looking at how your face looks with each colour underneath mm -hmm. you. So if it's a good colour, you're going to look good, you'll probably be smiling. It does happen when someone's in the right colour, they just, they perk up. When okay. someone's in the wrong colour, you can look a bit dull. Um, there's a lot of colour psychology as well. Like, colours do affect our mood and they do affect our health. Okay. So our like, health as well. Health, yeah. There's like, back in the day, they, they did experiments about like putting patients in a room with like a colour on it to see like if they feel better or worse. So like they had patients in a green room, in a red room, that kind of thing. But today I'm not saying, you know, you suit red, you mm. suit green. It's which shade of red or green is the best shade. Mm. Um, so the shades are split into seasons. So, so the seasons that we're looking for, which they will be sorted in today. So we've got springtime. So all of these kind of reflect how the natural world looks at this time of year. So the spring palette, the so in spring the light is very even, it's not too bright, it's not too dark. So in the springtime, you know, think of what flowers are blooming. There's like bright red flowers, the grass is green, the yellow is, you know, everything is very, I would call this like a Crayola palette almost. Okay. Um, so that's the spring palette. Um, another warm palette is the autumn palette. Um, that one's probably quite straightforward, like pumpkin spice latte is that kind of vibe. So <laughs> um, we're thinking like oranges, mustards, lots of browns, earthy greens and khakis, purples, plums, that kind of thing. Um, and so winter, if you think in that time of year, it's quite dark. Yeah, yeah. So like things appear quite saturated in that dark. So some people call it jewel tones. 
Okay, um, but it's like, so you get like and fuchsias and purples and maroons and navies. This is a cooler palette. So everything, almost like painting, has been painted with a bit of pink underneath it. It's an icy palette, so silvers, light blues. Okay. These warm palettes have been painted with a bit of yellow underneath them. So you can see like these are very warm. You know, this is called Summer. This is a cool palette. So the Summer palette is very pastel. Pinks here, really pastel colours. Got lots of blues, very lemony ones, because in summertime, like now for instance, the light is so bright that the garden outside, you can imagine everything appears really bright, really mm. washed out in colour. Yeah. So this one is like a really kind of washed palette. And they all suit different skins and personality types. So you might have a warmer skin tone. So if you kind of look at your own skin, which will help a little bit. So if you're like a warmer skin, maybe you've got kind of yellow, kind of golden undertones. If you're a cooler skin tone, then you probably have more pink in your skin. So like in your cheeks. Oh, okay. So while I'll be draping today, I'll be asking you questions about your skin tone as well as your personality which will help us kind of find the season that just makes your skin look the best. So, because it's like the best, I'm not saying you can't wear black. Okay. only one palette has black in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because I guess summer... Can you see it's just completely light? Yeah. But they all have neutrals. So that's very close. Like, mm. it's the brown, we've got like lots of greys here. But like, if you're a summer skin tone, for instance, a black is not good for your skin. It will it will show all the lines. It will make you look very drained. It will look too much. Okay. Summer skins tend to be quite porcelain. Mm. That helps you imagine. So they've got like quite pinky, very pale or very dark. So that would be a summer. They would be overwhelmed by a black. The oh. winter is the only palette that suits black. Oh, okay. So like I would call a winter like a snow white very like the features are very prominent mm. maybe like very blue eyes black hair you can kind of imagine like oh. dramatic people people would say like a winter is a dramatic palette like these are very saturated dramatic colors um and autumn tends to be someone who has kind of golden hues in their skin mm. So these are like, they're also very deep, saturated, earthy colours. This is the warm palette here. Another warm palette is the spring palette. Um, I would call that peaches and cream skin. That's how I would describe the spring. Yeah. So also very golden, um, but not as deep golden. So spring would be like a very lively kind of palette. So like personality wise, it'd be like quite an energetic person perhaps. Um, so you can see these colours, like the Crayola colours, they're very bright, they're very... <laughs> they're very happy. Um, yeah, they are, they really are. Yeah, but just because this palette has a bright red, you know, they all have their own reds. Yeah. So it's about yeah. finding which red is the best. And it's also, you know, which red do you feel confident in? Which red makes you feel comfortable wearing it? Mm. So some people will put it on, and maybe they don't like red, but they will find the red which they feel the best in. Mm. Okay. So you don't want the colour to overwhelm you. You don't want to be looking at the colour more than you're looking at your face. Yeah. You also don't want the colour to, you know, underwhelm you, just drown, like, the, take all the colour out of your face. Yeah. So we're just looking for the, the perfect one. So say, you know, you love black, but black doesn't suit your face. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can't wear black. It just okay. means not in a polo neck right underneath your face where it's going to reflect. So maybe you're wearing black, but you've got a v-neck on mm -hmm. or an off the shoulder or it's on the bottom or it's an accessory. Mm -hmm. But it's about finding which colour is the best underneath your face. Okay. So like you're going to the Oscars and you want an amazing dress yeah. kind of thing. You just want, you want to look your best. You want to look amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really interesting the way they group. 
Yeah, so when you see them all together like that, you can kind of see, you know, they all have their kind of vibes, they all, like, have their different feelings. Mm. Um, so you were saying that you're more drawn to this palette, you would say? Yeah, I think the either this one or this one, I'm yeah. torn between these two. I think I do have a lot of um, these two colours in my wardrobe, mm-hmm. but I think they suit me less. Okay. Yeah, but I, I love black. Okay. <laughs> so if black doesn't suit you today, yeah. we just find a different way to wear it. Sometimes mm. I would say with people, like a lot of people feel more comfortable in black mm. and their palette might, you know, they might love it, but they might feel, you know, I'm a bit, I don't think I can wear my palette. It's just a lot for me. Yeah. I love it, but I'm not confident enough yet. So I would say introduce it gradually okay. into your wardrobe. Yeah. So maybe if you have your best colours somewhere, you're going to feel good. Mm. That's what I would say. So perhaps you've got a black dress, but the print is in a spring print, for instance, on the top. Okay. So yeah. like for me, for instance, I have a black dress and my palette is a spring and the flowers on it are all in the spring colours, but it has a black backdrop. Ah. So that's ways of introducing it. You know, you could have it in your makeup, for instance. It could be on your nails, it could be on your bag. So like you can introduce colour into your life you know, that way. And also, not necessarily are you, this is your palette, one palette. You can have, like, a secondary palette. Okay. Oh. So, like, the, the one that suits you best after your main one? Or is it one you like personally? Or So, the first one would probably be the one which we're saying more colours from this palette suit you. Okay. But maybe a few from this other palette are pretty good uh-huh. as well. So, like, maybe, like, for me, for instance, my main palette is a spring. Yeah. But I've been told that some of the winter colours look quite nice, too. Okay. So, winter is a secondary for me, because I'm a little bit in between. So, like, I have quite warm skin. So, yeah. like, you can see that I tan quite well. I'm a little bit pale in places. I'm a little bit pinky in places. My hair's very black. But it also has a bit of red in it in the sun. So, I'm a little bit in between. Oh, okay. Weirdly so, enough, my twin brother is also exactly the same. He is also a spring winter. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So you can have two palettes as well. So if you're a little bit, you've got a little bit of skin with both in it. So I'm looking a little bit at your skin, looking a little bit at your hair. So when you have these underneath your face, maybe also look at, like, we can look at everything. Look at how things reflect all across like it can you can see in your parting you can see around the hair in your face mm. if things are right or not these are very powerful <laughs> weirdly <laughs> i know i was blown away too when i had this done to myself yeah like, i don't know about you but like when i shop uh well before i found my colors i was buying everything i didn't care i, I loved <laughs> all the colors all of those palettes looked great to me yeah i was buying everything i was buying a bit of khaki i was buying some black i was buying bright colors i was buying everything mm. but now i have a focus okay so yeah. now i know okay these are my two best palettes mm. and i was naturally drawn to the spring palette my favorite color is that red so oh. i was like oh that's really cool it's my color yes yeah, so the part of you like knew already that so, it might be the one that suits you yeah you might find that too so you were saying that naturally you were drawn to these pastel yeah. colors and a bit of the spring colors too yeah so the blues i love from mm-hmm. the spring yeah and then i think my favorite colors are all these like very like baby pinks baby blues interesting so yeah i don't know which one but i i have so many of these blues yeah because i think i always just end up buying blue because I don't know if it matches my face, but mm-hmm. I match it to my eyes quite often. Yeah. So, yeah, I have so much blue clothing. <laughs> you can see blue looking really nice against your eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's a blue in every palette. So yeah. No one's going to tell you you can't wear blue today. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's, it's not the same level as a black, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And um, so to start this off, what I tend to do with these, so that nothing's influencing us today... We're going to just throw everything out the window and just see what happens. This is for me. This is for you. Okay. Oh, I okay. get cape. Yeah. So we're going to block out the colour you're wearing already so we're not looking at what you've already got on. Okay. I put my hair 
out the way. Thank you. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> but it's interesting to know where you gravitate, because people usually gravitate towards their colours. Oh, okay. So I had a client recently um, that she loved the winter hot pink and the kitchen mm. where I did her colour analysis, there was hot pink everywhere. So that was fun. <laughs> but it was her colour. Like, you find you decorate as well. Like, what I was saying about Instagram earlier, mm. the colours you're drawn to, you will probably have them in your life. Ah. So you'll probably find, like, when you get to choose something, like, you get to choose a phone case or something. Probably yeah. in your colours. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a dry run. Okay, um, so let's start with the green ones. Let's just get into it. Um, you know what, no, we're going to go with reds. Okay, why not? Let's go for some reds. So, also a bit of colour psychology, which I can tell you a bit more when we've chosen your season as well. Um, so red, for instance, I think is a really powerful colour and I would say where, at an important time, a job interview, a first date. It's mm -hmm. a colour that makes you stop. Yeah. And it's also a memorable colour, the girl in the red dress. Ah, yeah. yeah. So I'd have it on your person somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do what I would call a dry run, which is, I'm not going to say anything, it's just going to get your reaction. Okay. So just look at yourself in the mirror. So, I'm going to ask some questions about your skin as well. Okay. Would you say you tan? No, not at all. You don't tan, do you burn? Yes. Interesting. Okay. How do you feel in this orange? Um, yeah, I don't really love orange as a colour. Interesting. So. <laughs> I like it. It doesn't really suit me. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it brings out kind of the yellowiness in your skin, mm. which isn't something that we would want. Now you smiled when this colour came on. Yeah, it's so bold, like, yeah. I would say, however, it's quite reflective underneath your chin. Mm. And you can kind of see it like in your nose a little bit. Yeah. It's nice. That's quite nice. Mm. But it's my favourite, yeah. This is your <laughs> favourite. Yeah. I feel like this one as well. Uh, like so far, I feel like we've been looking at the drape with each of these. Now I'm looking at your face. Okay. Is that is that good? That's good. Okay. We want to be looking at you, not the drape. <laughs> we don't want the colour to be wearing you. Ah. I do think my skin looks better in this one. I know yeah. I do have quite a bit of like BB cream on, but it looks like shinier in like a nice way. Yeah. yeah. So your natural hair colour, what would you say that is? Um, yeah, so my eyebrows, yeah. um, are like, it's actually showing a bit today, but mm -hmm. it's quite brown, like dark blonde. Like a kind of mousy? Yeah, like color. a mousy brown, yeah. yeah. And so you don't tan, you burn. Yeah. <laughs> but when I was a kid, I actually was naturally this blonde, but mm -hmm. over time it just went dark. So, yeah, I kind of dye it to the colour I originally had. <laughs> so this is the colour that we were, the shade of red we were enjoying the most. Let's compare it to this one. 
comparisons sometimes are quite hard. So this one you're looking quite even skinned, looking quite healthy. That's just quite fun. Your hair is looking very vibrant mm. in this shade, which is quite nice. It's a bit of reflection though. And it's very bold, so I feel like I'm looking at the drape and mm. I'm not looking at your face. Whereas this one is sitting quite nice underneath your face and your face is popping, which, which we like. <laughs> I know I'm not cool enough to say popping. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you're looking the best in this one. Um, how do you feel? Yeah, I agree. Like, I was worried because it was the first one, so I thought I might be biased because I yeah. saw it first. Yeah. But it is my favourite, I think. And all the other ones came on and you're like, nah, they're not comparing to this one. Yeah, it was funny how they were almost in order of like getting worse, worse. on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've had people where it's been getting better. <laughs> it's so different. Everyone's so different. Yeah. See, this is nice. Yeah, this one might actually be nicer than the bold one. Yeah, agreed. Mm. Yeah. It just, it's making you look quite yellow. Mm. Whereas these colours are just, I think, just better for you. Mm. And you you agree you feel more Yeah, I actually these. prefer them as well as colours. Yeah. I think as well, it's got to be what you prefer. Yeah. I'm not going to have anyone in the chair be like, oh my gosh, you put me in the car, I don't mind. <laughs> it probably won't be your colour if you don't like it. Mm. Yeah, I love the whole like psychology aspect. I've yeah. never heard that part before and it's, it's true, like you want to feel your best in the colour. And... Definitely, and like for me anyway as a personal stylist, I'm just helping people feel like their best mm. in general. Yeah. So we just find that together. So I think these two are looking the nicest. I think we just can't forget this one. I think that's the best red. But let's go for. <laughs> I'm gonna try the greens next. The first green I'm gonna put on you can be quite divisive with people, so I'm very interested. <laughs> different faces. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, never sure how to control my expression. <laughs> it's helpful to me. <laughs> so this one I feel is quite dull as a colour. It is. And ironically I have a top in this colour and it was one of the tops I wanted to ask you about because I just, it looks so bad on me. <laughs> but it's a nice top. Yeah. But I really don't like this colour. I'm interested to get to that because it could be something that you like about that top we mm. can find in a better shade. Mm. Would you say it's a high necked top at all? It's more than it. It's, it's around here. Okay, it's really, really comfy, I think is the issue. Comfy is nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, it's really not doing much for me. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Sometimes I find with the colours, they're not doing anything. Maybe they're not offending us, but mm. you want to you wanna feel like it's doing something. You want to feel like you're the best in it. Now this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. But it is bouncing everywhere. You can see it in your cheeks, you can see it underneath your nose, you can see it underneath your chin. Like all the shadows of it, it's, it's everywhere on you. Again, it's like your hair is looking really fresh yeah. in it, and I feel like you're looking quite fresh, mm. which is nice, but it's still quite a nice shade. Yeah. How do you feel about this one? It really reminds me of the bright red we just did. Yeah. Like, very similar. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cooling off. 
Yeah, very similar yeah. style of colour. So it's like, it's nice and bold. Yeah. But I think the others are better, which like warps my yeah. judgement a bit, because I know there's better ones. Exactly, we're looking for the, the best one. Mm. I feel like this one's a bit too much. Mm. This is too intense yeah. for you, I think. I love this one. Yeah, look at your face. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the best one. It's a little reflective, but I just think you look the most fresh in it. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. it makes your skin look healthy, it makes your hair look healthy. Yeah. And you're the happiest in it. Look at your face. That's what we want. Yeah, somehow I think it makes my teeth look whiter as well. I don't know how that works. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's definitely your teeth will look whiter, your eyes will look brighter, so the whites of your eyes as well. Mm -hmm. It's just, these things are so powerful, it's crazy. Yeah, look at that. You really look like a different person when you try each one. Yeah. It's crazy. For sure. That drape as well, actually, is the drape that suits not very many people, so you're uh, special. Is this the one you were referring to when you said it's a oh. divisive drape? Interesting. A lot of people put it on that, bleh. Oh wow, oh so wow. So you're lucky. Nice to be special. special ones. But then I guess I don't suit the ones they do. Oh, sorry, I keep falling down. Okay. There are, like, in the UK there's a season that's more common to find for colour analysis. Mm. And yeah, everyone's, everyone's different. So I think I'm getting a bit of an idea. Yeah, how fresh. It's a lovely colour. Should we do some blues? Blues. Everyone's yeah. always excited about the blues. I love blues so much. I'm mean, gonna love all of them. That's <laughs> Would you say personality-wise you're more introverted? Um yes, yeah, probably, but I think it changes over, mm -hmm. yeah, probably before lockdown extroverted, after lockdown introverted. <laughs> Are you a perfectionist at all? Yeah. Would you say, like, you enjoy, like, quite intricate tasks, maybe stuff that involves your hands, that kind of thing, something you can really focus and spend time on? Yeah, I think... One thing I re realised recently, yeah. like cleaning, like apparently I think okay. I'm a bit over the top with getting everything clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you say like you're quite like loyal with your friends? Yeah. Yeah. So like maybe you have a few friends but they're like friends you've had forever and you're super loyal to them. Exactly that, yeah. I can count them on my hands but like <laughs> I love all of them. I always take the personality things with a bit of pinch of salt, but it's quite weird how sometimes the personalities can match the seasons. That's so cool. Wow, this one's a lot, huh? <laughs> it's a lot for you. <laughs> quite nice. Yeah, it's quite similar to the, the minty green one. Yeah, it, it's fresh, certainly. Mm. But this one's a little bit yellowy undertone. It's quite like a sea. I would say, like a sea kind of blue. Oh. The other one was kind of painted with a little bit of pink. Oh. It? So it was quite a cool colour. It's amazing you can see all of this because I look at that and I don't see pink. Like I, <laughs> I train my eyes to see it. It took quite a lot of training for me to see it, but now I see it, I'm like, oh my gosh. I can see people's <laughs> colours on the train. It's just, you can't stop seeing it after you see it. Yeah, I can imagine you do a lot of people watching. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, her hair colour's wrong for her. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's intense, isn't it? Yeah. Because I feel like all the darker shades are just overpowering you a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this is quite a nice soft one, it's not too intense. Like before we're looking at you, we're not looking at the drape, mm. which is nice. Would you say this is a blue you have anything in? It's quite a denim blue, isn't it? Yeah, I've definitely got 
maybe jeans in this, but I don't have a top this colour that I can think of. Yeah, I think this would be really nice for you. Mm. And the yellow ones. Now I know before I said, you know, people, like for instance, I'm someone that's like, oh my god, I'm not a fan of yellow, I never wear anything in yellow. But it's always just nice to see, you know, what shade is the best one, even if you're not someone that's going to wear a lot of yellow. Yeah. I can see you look quite nice in yellow. I actually, I actually love yellow. Nice. <laughs> I love the um, dress in La La Land. So I, yeah. I really want one. <laughs> Was, I would say psychology, this is the colour of happiness. Yeah. It's the colour we all associate with it. It's sun, it's happy, it's the smiley face, it's mm. the happy colour. That's a really nice one. It's a little bit reflective in the nose, but it's a nice one. This one's really reflective mm. underneath the chin. Yeah, it's reflecting everywhere. <laughs> Just getting more and more intense, aren't they? Mm. It's not too reflective, but it's also not. <laughs> so I lean back. Oh, I think it's my bad posture, <laughs> I'm making them cool. It's not too reflective, but I feel like against your kind of skin, because you've got like this quite pinky, porcelain, quite soft skin, mm. this isn't really the colour that's best for you. It's very warm, it's very rich and very intense, and it's just clashing, I think, with you. This one was just looking a bit powerful. <laughs> Slowly they're cooling down a little bit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, the order always seems to be like the one at the bottom seems to <laughs> usually be the best. Yeah. Just looking a bit healthier, a bit more balanced. Not less overwhelmed. Yeah, that's really nice. How do you feel in this one? Yeah, I really like it. I think it goes with my hair quite well. Yeah, compared to the others. Yeah, I feel like before they were kind of battling with your hair. Mm. It was like, look at me, look at me. And this one's like, ah, oh. I feel like I'm really looking at your cheeks. Mm. Your cheeks are looking really healthy in this. Before I kept being drawn like to the chin where it was reflecting all the other drapes. Mm -hmm. Here, we're just looking at you. Which is nice. So, how do you feel about pink? <laughs> um, yeah, so I actually realised I didn't. I don't have that many pink uh, clothes. I mm. like it as a colour, but I never seem to buy it. That's interesting. interesting. And do you think there's a reason why you're not getting pink? Um, I wonder personally if it's because it made me look red sometimes. Yeah. Because um, especially when I've got no makeup on, I haven't got a lot of like acne scars, mm -hmm. and it might draw attention to them. Um, but they don't really have much reds either. So interesting. It could be why. So you tend to go for like the blues and the greens and just general. I think that is a good idea as well. Mm. Your hair's very blonde, it's a nice contrast, blue and yellow together. Mm. The blue in your eyes, as you say, it counteracts the pink in your face. Mm. Yeah, it's never been like intentional. Yeah, but I think that might be why I do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this colour. It's a lot, but it's <laughs> Yeah, it's just a nice colour. Yeah. <laughs> 
well. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the hard part because they'll probably be some that like I like but yeah. don't necessarily like me. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen. Mm. Wait, this one's nicer. Got say all the things actually. I'm quite liking them. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit. Hmm. I mean, none of them are that offensive. Yeah. Which is nice. But let's find the best. So this one's a bit reflective underneath the bottom. It's not awful. Well, I think we can do better. This is quite nice. Also a bit reflective. Still. This one you loved when we put it on. Mm. It's very intense. It's probably like one of the most intense ones. But it is fun. This is the only one not reflecting. Mm. Which is nice. It's very calm. We're looking at you. So I think this might be the best one. I don't know what you think. Yeah, it's like much paler than the others, I think, which probably goes with my face yeah. a lot more. I feel like you're looking quite porcelain in it as well. You're just looking very even skin tone. Nothing is like showing. There's no redness as well, which is quite nice, like what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is the one where we can just like breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah. It might not be as fun as the other ones, but this is just one shade of pink that I have here. On your fan, I can see a lot of pinks in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the drapes for them, but there are lots of pinks that you can see. But I think this is the best one for you. an effort to fold them back up. It's really relaxing to fold them. Sometimes if I have like a colour party or something and I'm doing lots of people one after the other I can get quite messy. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it's hard with lots of people. Yeah. But it would be interesting to see like if your friend probably really suits one that looked bad on you. It would be really like a fun experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny how different a group of people can be. Recently, I did a company and about three out of four were all the same palette. Really? So maybe they just all attracted each other. Oh. You say like likes attract, and no, they also say opposites attract, so I never know. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's look at your neutrals. These are quite decisive. This is the big, can I wear black moment. And if I can't, what can I do? It's <laughs> mm. a lot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And then it's, it's not great underneath as well. No. Just sad. Yeah, that doesn't mean, you know, maybe no black polo next, but maybe a black here with like something. So maybe you can have your best colour somewhere else. Maybe your best colour is a scarf. Maybe your mm. best colour is like a big jewellery or something else to detract from it. If you, you know, I really need to wear black in mm. this moment. Well, this is actually from the same palette. It's the white that I'm currently blocking out. It's not bad. It's not bad. How do you feel in these neutrals? I'm really struggling to like tell which one suits me. Yeah. Like with the colours it was a lot more apparent like there was always one best one. Yeah. I, I really can't tell with these. 
Is it the palette that I'm thinking you might be? I actually don't have a neutral drape from, which is probably why you haven't had the aha moment. Interesting. So I feel like your palette, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> um, but these are from similar ones. So I'll probably, I'll do a bit of revealing now. This grey in particular is an autumn grey. Okay. So a lot of the autumn palette I was finding it wasn't reflective, but it wasn't doing anything for you. Mm. So this is quite like a warm grey. So I'd say you personally need a cooler grey. Okay. So this creamy one. So some of the warmer palettes can't wear bright white or bright black. They have a creamier off-white. I feel like for you personally, it's not bad, mm. but it's just kind of putting a bit of a yellow cast mm. across your skin. I'd say this white's probably the nicest. It's bringing out the white of your eyes, which is nice. And it's not doing any reflecting. You look quite calm in it. The black, however, is just very intense. Not good. In comparison, I feel like the white is probably the best for you. Mm. So I'd say like maybe your neutral will be a white. Okay. You can also have a look at what metallics are best for you. Ooh. And this also can be quite divisive. Cause, you know, some people will just say, look, I like wearing gold and I'm going to wear gold earrings. Um, but it's just nice to see, like, what's your best. Like, say you're going to that Hollywood premiere and you're like, I'd like a dress just like entirely in gold. <laughs> right underneath my neck. <laughs> As a holder, can be quite useful. Mm -hmm. I don't think I actually have any metallic, nothing at all. Maybe a skirt in silver. Wait, no, gold actually. I think they were in fashion a few years ago, and I got one. Yeah. Are you maybe not drawn to metallics as much? Would you say? Yeah, I feel like they always seem too dressed up for like daily life. Mm -hmm. And so I only ever have it if I'm going to like a party or something. Right. So, yeah. And like jewellery wise, what do you tend to go for? Um, like a plain like silver thing with like maybe a little daisy or like a flower on it. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and my ear piercings are closed so I haven't been wearing earrings anymore. Yeah, it's really sad. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like the blue of your eyes is really nice with. This just feels like a lot. It's competing yeah. with your hair. It makes me look yellow a bit as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is nicer. Yeah. I feel like the reflections, like the cheek that we're getting is just nicer, like it just looks like it's kind of glowing. Mm. Whereas this one, it's just like yellow everywhere. I can't stop looking at the gold. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like again, like this section here is just like looking really fresh and looking really nice. Mm. So yeah, I think I have a bit of an idea. And I think you were agreeing. I'm going to keep this one up. Maybe take a pinch of this. A little bit of this. Oh, it's all the ones off the top. <laughs> I feel like I'm cooking. And what I'm going to do is just pair them all together so you can see all of the best ones. I bet they all look lovely like this. They do. And would you say that these shades, if you saw them all together, you'd be like, oh, these are my favourites? I think so, yeah. They, they seem quite similar to the ones I liked, yeah. So that's the very girly colours. They are, aren't they? They're very feminine. This one, I'm going to put right next to her face you enjoy this shade a lot. <laughs> so I'm 
sometimes it's nice to have like when you're pairing colours, like a pink and a green together, because they're kind of opposite on the fan. Oh, okay. So I can help you as well, like just give you some ideas about colour matching. I like to get quite creative when I colour match. I like putting weird and unexpected combinations. I think that's where you can show your personality and be a bit creative, is what you decide to put. And it also can kind of make some illusions on your body by how you use colours in your life. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look with these. <laughs> I feel like these two are quite interesting together. Yeah. So sometimes it's like how you pair like the lighter and the darker colour in the season that can be really interesting. Like a, like a really pale shade with something more intense could be really interesting. Like these two are quite opposite. Yeah, they really are. Which makes them look quite fun. How do you feel about seeing them all together? Yeah, I love uh, this side as well, especially yeah. like the really bright pinks and yellows. But yeah, gosh, this is gorgeous, this one. Isn't it? Yeah. If you need to go into any red carpets like at a wedding. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> or yeah. silver dress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want dresses in like all of these colours. <laughs> I could see you with like a really lovely dainty floral. Mm -hmm. Which would be really lovely. So like say you have like a white dress. Yeah. Maybe like a full length dress or something. We'll get to the body shape later. Um, and then it's got like a little ditzy print, like flowers and all this. How sleeve. Oh god, I'd love that. A bit like cottagey. Yeah. Cottage core. Cottage core, yes. <laughs> yes, literally. <laughs> Actually there's um I don't know if it was white, but yeah. a few years ago, like the Disney Cinderella movie, her wedding dress was like a, like a white creamy colour with yeah. like these floral things on it and I thought like I love that dress so much I want that dress yeah and it's like exactly what you just said with go so I'm just like yes <laughs> that's what we're looking for good I feel like you have quite like a Disney princess kind of vibe like wow <laughs> so this is your best palette oh so it's the one I liked yeah yes <laughs> always the reaction you're like yes I love it my heart knew it's the summer palette Ooh. so in summer as I said earlier the light is so bright everything appears pretty like washed out mm -hmm. so imagine like really dainty kind of you were saying quite feminine colors yeah put these together aren't they so nice yeah the, the really pastel ones I love them yeah and I feel like these are really good for you as well because they're not intense mm. which was nice I feel like all the intense colors were fun but they were just battling for attention on your face yeah whereas these I just feel like they really go like what I was saying about skin tones before I feel like you're you're quite porcelain okay like this pink that you've chosen already is just like it's been hand painted it's so like porcelain especially like with your eyes and like popping against like the fairness of your skin so I feel like these colors are really nice like even like the jean against your skin looks yeah. really nice it's kind of light color that you're wearing so you were like we saw this drape today okay but look at all these other pinks that would be really lovely yeah, like these kind of rosy colours could be really nice. Yeah. All of these could be a lipstick, if you like. So okay. this is quite red, but it's not like a yellowy tomato red. It's yeah. pinky red. So 
so everything I would say like painting wise has been painted with a little bit of pink and blue underneath it. Imagine like a really nice jumper in the winter in this colour. That one would be gorgeous. All these pinks. Have you just needed to find your pink? Yeah, this one actually um, reminds me a bit of the one I was in love with. But yeah. Like a, yeah. Is it a cooler version of it? Or is it... I'm, I'm not very good with the cool and warm. Yeah. But... So the palette... So the order that I've been doing them in. Okay. Spring. Then I go winter. Then I go spring. Oh. Uh, Summer, winter, spring, autumn. That's okay. the order. So you have been seeing your season first every, every time. Every time, okay. And the winter is still a cool season. So you are still seeing something that could have been in your kind of lane because I think your skin is very cool. I see. So you were seeing that kind of colour that was nearly there, but it was just too intense. Yeah. Like usually people who have a winter skin... They have quite like dramatic features. Maybe they've got quite dark hair mm. or very, very light blonde hair. Yeah. Like a kind of icy mm. blonde hair. Mm. But like your kind of natural hair colour is quite difficult over summer. Oh, okay. So it's like my natural and dark colour are both okay? Yeah. So oh. like this is the kind of yellows that we have here. I love them. That's the reaction we want. <laughs> Yeah, I really like them. There's like no colour on this palette I don't like. Amazing. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> These could be nice hair colours. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to go a bit more like sil the silvery, like whitey. But yeah, I think this would yeah. be really lovely. Mm -hmm. Always good to know. Or if you're feeling like a pink hair colour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had the courage. Yeah, like if you're feeling a bit too scared, you could just like put it in the ends. Yeah, like a dip dye. Yeah. Oh, these creams are so gorgeous. Like you were saying before, like the greens and the blues, like against like the kind of pinks of your skin. Mm. You were saying, oh, I love blue. Look at all this blue. Yeah, it's like all the ones I did gravitate towards. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder there's so much blue, like, yeah, I love blue. And like this purpley kind of blue is really lovely. Yeah, yeah. This could be a nice lip colour. Mm. Nice lilacs here. And we've got the really pastel colours. Yeah. Which... I imagine they're quite hard to find clothes in these ones, because yeah. they probably come out in the wash <laughs> but they're so gorgeous and your neutrals probably are more like on the grey side the grey that we tried on the autumn grey wasn't really your grey okay so I think if you can just find like a cold grey that's closer to a silver mm. that would be probably best so I mean you're probably not in the line of work where you'd wear a suit mm. but that could be the suit Ah, uh, it's like grey suits are better than black suits. Yeah, I feel like the black would be a bit intense on you. Mm. If you have like a really nice light grey suit and then you paired it with one of these nice plastic colours on the inside, uh -huh. that would be nice. Maybe for an interview. <laughs> or a navy suit would yeah. actually be really lovely. I mean, nowadays you can get suits in all the colours. You can get a blue suit, you can get a pink suit, pink yeah. suit, oh my god. <laughs> that is like your power look. Pink suit. Yeah. Pastel pink. pink. This pink. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. So like pairing colours, like some of it can play a little bit into your height. Mm. So like if you're quite small, yeah. wearing all one long line of colour along your body makes you look taller. Oh, okay. So like lines going down in general make people look taller. So like oh. when you're going for stripes, for instance, yeah, line going down, it's making the eye go up and down, it's making you look taller. Yeah. So by wearing one long line of colour, you're looking longer. Okay, so yeah, that would be good for me. I'm not too tall. So. <laughs> <laughs> me either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm quite, like, so I'm spraying, I love, like, all the bright colours, I like putting them all together and I like them everywhere. Yeah. So 
I break a lot of my rules. I like having this and then contrasting against that and contrasting. Just having everything all intense. But apparently to look taller is just one long line. Uh, and also like if you have like a nude shoe, it looks like you've got extra foot. A what, sorry? Like an extra foot. Well, not an extra foot, but it makes your foot look even longer. Oh, it's just like more okay. skin. The more skin you show yeah. makes you look taller. Oh, okay. So you don't want to look like a little person yeah. bombarded in clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I would say as well, any body shape, Yeah. fit is so important. Mm -hmm. Anything oversized, you're going to be hiding your body, you're going to be creating shapes that aren't there, you're going to be, it's like if you're smaller, you're going to look a bit drowned. Yeah. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like a... A dress in just one colour probably be like the best thing for looking taller. Yeah. And showing a bit of like leg yeah. to look longer. So like say you had just like a dress in that and then maybe it's a short one so you're showing like I've got this long leg and then you have a, like a just a nude shoe mm. that would make you look quite tall. Mm. Um, but yeah while we're on colours so you can have a bit of a play with the fan, which can really help and you can see that, oh, like if I take the pink and the green, which are kind of like opposites from each other and put them together. I love those two together. And like, it doesn't have to be these two, these two, these two. Yeah. That and that could be nice, that and that could be nice. Mm. I don't want to like bend them too much, but like, you can see like sometimes it's really interesting what actual shades in the palette you put together. Yeah. That's where you can get creative and put your own kind of personal stamp. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes like the long line of colour for instance, maybe you're not wearing all of this, but you're wearing this, this, this. Yeah, yeah. Like that within could be really nice. I know it's like sometimes hard to find something so exact and so perfect, but like if you can, like, yeah. it could be nice to make a kind of monochromatic look with all shades in one family and that sometimes that's easier if you you know realistically okay i can't find all of this one shade in the shop yeah but i found a few kind of things that are really similar to this and i'm putting them all together and they're all kind of the same that can be really nice then it's also just really nice to show you have creative flair and be like i'm wearing all of these all at the same time and they look <laughs> great on me look at that so pretty. The ones next to each other are quite nice. Like it could be nice to wear a couple of pinks at the same time. You know, people say, oh, the opposite's the best, right? Blue and yellow tends yeah. to be the classic, and red and green. But hey, maybe like break a few rules, wear like a red and a pink together. <laughs> That's where your own creative flair comes in. You know, it's just about, like, expressing yourself, but also, like, they're in your palette. Yeah. So they're going to look good because they're all skin, you know, it makes your skin look good. It's, the combinations are up to you. Mm. These are fun. Yeah. You know, they all work together because they're all in the same family. yourself and get inspired. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's so many colours to choose from. I'm glad they're all colours that you like as well. Yeah, definitely. I like how there's not just all pastels as well, yes. like there's still like a really wide variety. Absolutely. Yeah, the blues are cool. So there's like deeper shades of everything, there's you know the pastel versions of everything. Yeah. Yeah, these three are probably like my the ones I wear the most, I think. Yeah. An old denim look could look really nice on me. Yeah. These denim shirts, I've got some denim jeans. Ooh, so nice accessories. <laughs> yeah, the pinks and the blues together must look gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, that's so pretty. Very like you're right, like Disney princess vibes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's your vibe. Love it. 
And we can like get on to like your style personality and what inspires you and stuff like that as well. But it, colours are always a really good start. It starts like painting the picture of, you know, what you're into and what you like and then you go from there really. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Love it.